Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog. So today is a very exciting day. Today is Tuesday and I'm actually picking up a piece of furniture which I feel like I haven't gotten a new piece of furniture in a while. Um, so it's a very exciting day today. I'm actually getting a piece of furniture for the office. I'll obviously show you the exact piece when I pick it up later today, but it's actually a cabinet for my office, kind of like an organizational cabinet, because I feel like I have a lot of things that are just still in boxes, honestly, which is super embarrassing to admit, but I feel like I still have like my sunglasses and perfumes and like little knickknacks like that in my office that I haven't had anywhere to store, like in a proper space. So I finally found one that I love which honestly was the hardest thing to find because I found this dresser on Pinterest Which I'll show you guys like a photo of inspiration where I found it and it's actually by Ikea um, But it is sold out everywhere. It's discontinued. No one is selling it. It's super hard to find um, But it so happened that Knits was also looking for the same dresser because we obviously have the same taste So she was on the hunt for it and actually found one in Vancouver, which obviously since she's based in Toronto she wouldn't be able to get it so she texted me and she was like oh my gosh Emma there's a girl selling it in Vancouver you can have it at least one of us can have it so far so she was so awesome and sent over um, the girl's Instagram so I sent her a DM right away and I got the dresser which is amazing so anyways long story short I'm picking it up later this afternoon and I'm gonna take you guys along with me for that and I'm honestly just super excited to kind of get my organizational situation sorted in my office because you guys know from watching the vlogs I obviously have my second bedroom in the apartment but it was originally supposed to be like my office like a sit-down office but I just tend to work obviously on the kitchen counter most of the time because I just love the natural light in here and like the huge windows and it just gives me the best vibes so the second bedroom kind of turned into like my office slash second closet mostly I have like a ton of clothing racks in there and like all my shoes and just kind of like the overflow of like my everyday wardrobe so that's kind of what it has turned into but I'm really excited to kind of now transform it more so into an office because I've just been super crazy busy all summer Haven't had the really the chance to sit down and decide what furniture pieces I want to go in there So I didn't want to rush anything, but I'm finally getting it started, which is very exciting So anyways, I'm rambling now So I'm gonna go and head out and pick up the dresser and I'll see you guys when we get there. So I ended up buying two brand new bar stools for the kitchen island, which as you can see over there, I have my old bar stools, which we just kind of got them to have something to sit on when we first moved in. But now that I found the ones that I really loved, I wanted to invest in obviously a nicer piece of furniture. So these guys were a little bit of a steeper price point compared to those, but these are more of like an investment piece. So I'm obsessed with them and both of them finally arrived. Um, and I love them in the kitchen. I think it looks so cute and it kind of ties everything together Including obviously the nook and everything so I'm obsessed with all of that And I think that the wood detailing just kind of brightens up the kitchen and ties everything in together Obviously, I have my hints of PFG of course, but I just thought that the chairs obviously tie in the Chanel art um, and just kind of everything in the kitchen looks a lot lighter and cleaner and I just am obsessed. So that is the first update. Okay, so second update is the bed. So I actually got a brand new duvet cover, which obviously you guys probably didn't even notice because it's kind of hard to tell <laughs> unless you're in person, but I got brand new pillows, brand new duvet, which is just so nice because I've been wanting to kind of perfect my bed situation. Um, and I obviously love my sheets. They're from Parachute Home. You guys know I'm obsessed with them so it was just about time to get myself a brand new duvet and pillows and it just kind of makes everything feel like a cloud um, and then I already showed you guys obviously the TV in the bedroom but you guys to give you guys an update it is the best thing I ever did to this apartment you guys the TV has like changed my life I love watching TV in bed it's so fun and just so chill and it's honestly made me really relax so I'm obsessed I'm always playing music on there as well so it's just really nice to like watch my YouTube my Netflix Netflix, Disney Plus, all that good stuff. So that was a great investment. And if you guys are thinking of getting a TV in your bedroom, highly recommend.
Okay, so it is here. I got the dresser from a girl off of Instagram. Um, obviously, it's like secondhand. She was selling it, so I bought it off of her, but it was exactly what I wanted um, because Ikea, like I said, discontinued it, so um, I was so excited to get my hands on it. So this is what it looks like. I think it's gonna go here, um, and then I'm probably gonna like style it and everything like that too, but I think it looks super cute, and this is what the inside looks like. It's so spacious and it's just gonna be like perfect for storage and stuff. Okay, so now that I have done my makeup and my hair is just like blown out, um, I'm not doing anything crazy today. I just kinda wanted to get ready to feel good and just like do an easy little everyday makeup look. Um, but now I'm gonna have to decide what to wear. So like I said, I'm not really doing much today, but I still want to look cute just to feel cute. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking of just wearing like an oversized band tee with like some leggings or some jeans. Um, as you can see, I have an extent, extensive, extent, extended collection. Should I wear an in and out t-shirt? Probably not. I also like this one. It's kind of gloomy out today. Well, it's just like foggy or smoky because of the fires, unfortunately. So, okay, maybe I'm just going to wear this like Mayfair t-shirt. So I'm just about to head out to go to the grocery store because my fridge is completely empty because I just did like a full like fridge clean out. And if you guys have an apartment or live on your own and then you feel me when that's like very necessary every once in a while. Um, but luckily HelloFresh I believe is coming this week. So I don't have to get too much meal prep because obviously you guys know HelloFresh like pretty much meal preps your life for you. So I just have to pick up like some necessities and some like basics to go in my fridge. Um, but I don't have to worry about like meals or anything really, which is nice. So it's just gonna be a quick little trip to the grocery store, but I thought I would take you guys along um, or show you guys like a grocery haul when I get back either way. Pippa is just straight vibing today, you guys. Once again, she's just sleeping for like 20 hours straight. I really wish I was Pippa. She truly has the best life. Okay, so this is my little outfit of the day. Super basic. Literally just wearing this like oversized t-shirt from Mayfair and little high socks, which a lot of people ask me about these socks. They're from Aritzia. They have the best little high socks to go in boots for the fall. Um, and then, of course, my Prada boots. So that's the grocery store look today, guys. Okay, so I just got home from the grocery store and I just carried four giant heavy bags up to the apartment and it was a struggle to say the least, but now I'm gonna kind of unpack everything, put everything away and my fridge will be stocked and I'm so excited about that. <laughs> Okay, well this is kind of like an overview of everything I got. Like I said, I have HelloFresh coming, so there's gonna be um, some meal preps coming that I didn't need to worry about, but I just kind of got some like fruit, um, vegetables, and just kind of like some breakfast foods, got some yogurt, um, got some snacks, like dried mangoes. I kind of restocked on some random stuff like maple syrup, got some bread, got myself the barista oat milk, and then obviously, stocked up on all of my beverageinos. You guys know I'm obsessed with yerba. I love kombucha and I'm also obsessed with these little um, oat milk lattes in a can. Um, so yeah, and that's kind of what I got. And I also got some <laughs> toilet paper and paper towels. So kind of random, but if you guys are interested, that is what I got. Oh, and I got some flowers. Okay, so everything now is put away and I refilled the little vase with some fresh flowers, which is always nice to have around the house. Um, and now I'm about to get on a little FaceTime call um, with two of my girlfriends who you guys may know. Um, they're here on YouTube as well. They do vlogs and they're like the two best of friends and they're so freaking cute. They're based out of London or based out of the UK. Um, 
and we have a little group chat going. We try to do little FaceTimes here and there. So I have a little FaceTime date with them and I'm gonna make myself some lunch while I chat with them on FaceTime. So I'm gonna give them a call. Hello. How are you? How are you? Oh, I'm so good. You know, just did my grocery run. at vloggers so they know they know how to talk to a camera. Sophia's making a tea. Sophia's making a tea. I am just lying. I'm just under the covers with my legs out. Stunning. We love to hear it. We love to see it. four hours later I was just on FaceTime with the girls and I guess we just got carried away and I was on FaceTime for like the entire afternoon and now it's four o'clock um, and I got oh people like Cindy flowers um, but I got a notification from my concierge that I got a package and you guys look what it was so exciting I told you guys HelloFresh was showing up this week I didn't realize it was today but it showed up at my door, which is super exciting. So now I am stocked up, you guys. I have all my new groceries and I have all of my meal preps for dinners this week. So it's gonna be a good week, but I think I'm gonna cook the first meal tonight, which will be fun to do. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would open it because I honestly don't even know which meals I got. I forget what I ordered. So I usually get three meals from them and it's honestly, you guys, just like the best thing ever especially living in an apartment and like not living at home anymore. It was always nice to rely on my mom to like cook me meals when I was being lazy, but now I can just like cook myself meals um, even when I'm lazy because it's just like they make it so much easier to cook like a gourmet meal. So I got the veggie taco bowl, the cheesy squashed stuffed ravioli, and then I also got the sweet and savory brie flatbread, which looks Fabulous. So all of these look so freaking good. I'm so excited to eat all of them um, But I'm just gonna kind of put everything away into the fridge because it's only four o'clock and I probably won't be starting um, Dinner till a little bit later, but I will definitely Show you guys which one I end up cooking a little bit later. Okay guys We are back in the kitchen. It is now dinner time and I am about to make my meal from HelloFresh. So before we get started, obviously thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog. Um, I'm obviously so excited to work with them. Once again, you guys know I'm obsessed with HelloFresh. They make cooking and like my life just so much easier, especially now living on my own. It's just been like a lifesaver, not having to fully meal prep every single week because HelloFresh like comes in clutch with like the best recipes. I get to try out new things and it's super easy and it's literally written out for me on a piece of paper so as per usual i'll have my discount code here on the screen and i'll have links to everything in the description box if you guys want to try out hellofresh it is obviously one of my favorite things to do so i definitely recommend um and today we're going to be cooking together which is super exciting so i showed you guys which meals i got but i decided tonight i'm going to be making the sweet and savory brie flatbread this meal basically describes my taste buds so i'm very excited to make it it's supposed to only be 30 minutes which is obviously super easy so it comes in this little bag as per usual um the flatbread also came separately um so let's see Inside. Okay, so first thing is arugula. The next thing is the walnuts. And then we have the rosemary. We obviously have the brie that will be going on top. Then we have some garlic and some onion. And then we also have some red pepper jelly spread and red wine vinegar. So that's literally everything that we need right in front of us in the perfect amount of portion. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so the first step to the recipe is prepping, obviously. And the first thing that they want us to do is 
prep all of the stuff that's gonna go obviously on top of the flatbread and then also caramelize the onions and toast the walnuts. So that's gonna be on the stove and then the rest is gonna be on the oven. So I'm gonna preheat the oven before we get started though. Okay, so while my oven is heating up, I'm going to prep the walnuts and caramelize the onions. I'm gonna prep the brie and the rosemary and all of that good stuff So you can probably hear it in the background. It literally smells so good. So I'm gonna prep the brie I'm gonna prep the rosemary um, and then we are gonna toast the walnuts Okay, so basically I put the flatbread in the oven without anything on top for like one to two minutes to broil it just to kind of bake it a little bit and then I'm gonna take it out and then I'm gonna put on all of the toppings that we just prepped and then I'm gonna put it back into the oven to officially bake the flatbread um, and then we're basically done. Now that I have put on all of the toppings, the recipe doesn't call for this, but I wanted to add some balsamic cream glaze on top because I love that on my flatbread and since the recipe didn't come with it, I had it at home anyways. I always love to kind of add little things into the recipes if I feel like it, which is like the best part about HelloFresh. You can like not put things in if you don't want it or you can like replace things if you want to. So that's basically what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to obviously follow the exact recipe from HelloFresh, but I'm just going to add a little Emma twist to it um, and add an ingredient that I already had in my cupboard. guys it looks pretty good if I do say so myself so I basically like I said follow the entire recipe it took me about 30 minutes so easy so quick and now all I have to do is just cut them into slices and it's good to go Okay, hi guys, it is the next morning and I'm back in the kitchen, obviously, but I'm currently making myself breakfast. I'm here with two special guests. <laughs> hi. Two queens. Um, and we're currently just on a little FaceTime date, but I just made myself some breakfast. I thought I'd show you guys because it's stunning queen. So I made sourdough bread. I did like a sweet and savory mix. So the savory side, I did avocado feta. <laughs> I did avocado yes. feta. I vote, I vote. Shut up. I made, on the savory side, I made avocado, feta, tomatoes, balsamic glaze, stunning. And then on the right side for the sweet, I made peanut butter with nectarines cut up on it and honey. So that's my breakfast because, for the day. Because what? she's Gordon Ramsay. I'm Gordon Ramsay in the kitchen, <laughs> apparently. My last clip was me making HelloFresh in the kitchen, so... Tea. I am Gordon Ramsay and then for my drink and then for my beverageino I'm going to have beverageino. For my beverageino, I'm gonna have a Two bears frothed oat milk latte because they are the best and I stand them and I literally have like five a day So I'm gonna Did have this. Have one? I absolutely already had one That's why I said I have five a day um, They're stunning so this is my little breakfast. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. 
Bon Appetit. Okay, so now it has been a little bit and I'm actually gonna go downstairs and pick up some packages. Where did I put my keys? There they are. Um, I'm gonna have to go pick up some packages downstairs because my concierge just texted me and said I have a few. So I'm gonna go do that and maybe I'll do a little mini unboxing for you guys because I've gotten a lot of stuff for fall, which if you guys saw on my Instagram stories, I did like a little fall try on haul. If you guys missed it, um, oh my God, what is my hair doing? Um, but if you guys missed it, I'll have it on a highlight on my Instagram. You guys can go check it out. But I've been starting to collect stuff for fall fashion, which is super exciting. I'm obsessed with fall. I love styling for fall. It's just so pretty. The colors, like the warmth, everything. So I started getting some stuff for fall. And how many times have I said fall now? So I've been starting to get some packages. And I think that's what's downstairs. So if you guys want to come with me, we're going to head down to my concierge and do a little unboxing. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. You guys, this is literally ah, my life for you. Okay, so I have a few packages here and I know where a few of them are from, but two of them are unknown. So I guess we'll be opening it together. So the first package is from Burge Girl and I'm obsessed with Burge Girl. I'm always wearing this stuff, you guys know. Um, and I got a few cute things, but obviously I'm going to be highlighting all of these things over on my Instagram. So I want to give you guys like a little sneak peek as to what I got, but I'm not going to do like a full haul. Um, okay, so the first thing I got, I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so cute. And it is this jumper which I literally am so obsessed. I know it's not really fall, but I feel like right now I can still kind of get away with doing something like this with like a booty um, and not being too cold. But I think it is like the most adorable little jumper and I just can't wait to style it. So that is very exciting. And then for fall, you guys, I'm thinking of doing like a full fall trends haul because I feel like everyone is very confused with what's going on with fall trends because quarantine and just 2020 has been such a weird year that like fashion has also been really weird so I'm gonna try to do like a fall trends video because I feel like that'll be really helpful with you guys especially this year um, because I know there's not a lot of resources right now for it so the next thing that I got is this green shirt and this will be a part of my trends video because I won't, I won't give it away but this is definitely going to be a big trend for fall so um, I think it's super cute and I got a few other things from Verge Girl but we will save it for Instagram. Okay, next up, I got something from, oh, this is from Brunette the Label. So they're actually a local company here in Vancouver and they have the cutest basics and they sent over two sweatpants, which are really cute. Hold on, there's a note. Okay, next up, I got a package in from Elf Cosmetics which you guys know, again, I'm a huge fan of them. Um, I love e.l.f. They're cruelty free, they're so affordable, and they honestly have some of the best makeup, so. Okay, and then last but not least, I got in an order from one of my favorite Australian labels, Beginning Boutique, and if you guys follow on Instagram or you're a follower of the vlogs, then you obviously know about the edit, the summer edit that I did with them this summer. Um, I basically like curated a collection for you guys and it was so successful and so much fun. So I obviously love working with them and they sent me a ton of new pieces to style as well. Oh my God, there's candy. Oh my gosh, how cute. They sent over Australian snacks. I love Australian snacks. I love snacks in general. And they're all Australian ones that I wouldn't be able to get in Canada. How cute is that? Okay, well, I'm also gonna open up a few of the pieces to show you guys what I picked out. Oh my God, I think there's more snacks. Oh no. <laughs> they're not snacks, they're hair clips. Okay, okay, I love this little tank top. I think it is such a good basic and it has like the cutest little bow detailing and I think it comes with a matching skirt if I remember correctly yeah okay like how cute is this it comes with a little matching skirt how cute is that and then another thing that I ordered 
Oh my gosh, how cute. It kind of goes along the little like preppy schoolgirl vibe that's happening right now. And it's this little colored shirt, which I think is also so adorable. Next up, I got this little, it's almost like a little bit of a lingerie little dress. And obviously Australia, their summers are just getting started. So obviously Australian labels, they have a little bit more of like summery pieces. But I'm going to try my best and kind of style them to the weather here in Canada. A little bit more fall, but I think it'll still work. Oh my gosh. It's so cute, you guys. All of their stuff. I love their stuff. You guys, if you don't know what Beginning Boutique is, you got to get on it. Because they have like the cutest... Um clothing pieces like how cute okay well i'm probably gonna do like a full haul on instagram stories because you guys seem to love that when i just did that um a few days ago so if you guys aren't following on instagram definitely go check out my instagram and keep an eye out for that because i'm gonna do like a full haul of all of this stuff but anyways i'm gonna now go eat these snacks that they sent me even though i just ate breakfast but who doesn't love a good snack Okay, so we are now in PF Jeep because we need a car wash, you guys. Like, this car has been through the ringer since I got her. She's truly been on a few road trips already, and the amount of sand in the back of the car from, like, Tofino and just from, like, traveling in the car, um, she just needs a deep clean. So I haven't got her a car wash yet, and I feel like today's the day. So I'm not even sure where to go get a car wash because I've never done that which sounds really stupid but I've never had a car to wash so I'm gonna google like car washes near me and I'm gonna go head out and find a car wash because PFG just she needs a shower she needs to clean and I don't really have any road trips coming up anytime soon so I feel like once this is like deep cleaned I feel like I'll be able to like maintain her on a better level but anyways I'm gonna head out now and we're gonna go find a car wash also, all of the seats are down from the other day when we picked up the cabinet from um, the person who's selling it to me. I still haven't put up the seats yet, so ask me how my week's going. Okay, good morning you guys. So it is Friday and it is quite early in the morning and it feels way earlier than it honestly is because the smoke is so bad here in BC from all of the wildfires. It's so sad that like our city is like the worst air quality I think in like the world. So it's already I think raining out and gross out plus the smoke. It's just like the darkest day out. Um, what time is it? It is currently 8.30 in the morning, but it feels like it's like 5.30 in the morning. Um, but I'm actually on my way or about to leave because um, I have a laser hair removal appointment, which I took you guys on my first and second one on the vlogs. Um, and now I'm going in for my next appointment and I thought I would take you guys along the vlogs again because I said I would take you along like my whole journey. Um, but like the summer has been, oh my pips. Summer has just been like so crazy. So, um, but no <laughs> um the summer has been like so busy that i really haven't had the time okay, this camera that i really haven't had the time to really like go in to my next appointment anyways long story short i booked it in finally so i'm going in for 9 30 this morning um and i'm gonna go do laser hair removal in the morning which is honestly not ideal pippa's touching the camera right now pippa. Uh, oh my god um, which which is honestly not ideal because it's so early in the morning to feel pain um, But it needs to get done. So I'm about to head out 
to my appointment and I'll see you guys there. But first I need to get some coffee because I'm so tired and I'm not alive right now. Hey guys, I'm at the laser and Nicola just finished lasering me and this is my third time coming and you guys honestly, it wasn't that bad at all. It was way better than the first and second time. So I feel like every single time, well Nicola told me this, but every single time you go, it's gonna get easier. And that's true because I honestly did my entire area in how long? 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Which like the so first fast. time definitely took longer than that. So honestly, 10 out of 10 experience and um, I'll be coming back for until my sixth. So I'm just excited to be a naked mole rat. Good morning, you guys. So it is actually the following week and I'm actually taking this vlog into this week because um, my vlog last week was posted late. So I kind of got like a little bit of a week off, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna extend this vlog a little bit just because I don't think I have too much footage in it quite yet. Um, but I'm just actually on my way um, to brunch. I'm actually just meeting my mom for brunch this morning because I haven't seen her in a little bit. Um, so I thought I would take you guys along because we're going to one of my favorite brunch spots and I'm so excited because they have oat milk lattes and they have the best food ever. So I'm very excited to go and eat all the food. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. My outfit today is so chill. I don't know about you guys, but I can't get myself to wear jeans ever anymore because of quarantine. I was so used to wearing sweatpants every single day that I literally can't get myself to wear anything else, so I'm wearing this white um, sweatsuit. Super cute, super comfortable. And I'm just wearing my Prada bag and my little Chanel dad sneakers since it's actually super nice out today. The sun came out, so just like a chill, cute fit. <sighs> I'm here with the Hi. squad. Um, the queens are here, and we're actually about to get on a very exciting Zoom call. Are you guys excited? Always exciting, always a secret, always something that's coming <laughs> Always soon. wish we could tell you more. But yeah, you guys, I swear we're working on some big things. I swear, it's gonna be good, but it's just a matter of time and a matter of the pandemic sure. ruining everything for us and slowing everything down. So, um, but just so you know, we are working on things behind the scenes that no one sees because, because big things are coming. <laughs> TikTok. Yeah, so if you sent me a TikTok yesterday, explain what the TikTok was. I'll insert it. Should I insert it? No, because it ruins everything then. Oh, it yeah. has to stay a secret until later. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, right. Duh. Oh, right. Yeah, I can't yeah. insert it. Okay. Um, but anyways, we're about to get on a FaceTime call or a Zoom call with some people. And um, so, yeah. And then, um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I can't say anything. <laughs> Stay tuned. Like, Stay and, that's, tuned. and that's what my morning consists of. So I'm just it's drinking my what? mason jar water. Okay, you guys so today is a very exciting day because I got my patio furniture in the mail this morning and I actually hired a task rabbit to build it because I truly just can't build one of these things they're so complicated to build and there's just so many tools involved so I hired one and he's the same guy who put up the TV we love Ronnie K he's the best so he's currently on his way up right now and Ronnie K is gonna be building my outdoor couch, which is so exciting. So I'm gonna show you guys the before. I'm gonna bring you outside. So currently this is the before and Ronnie Kay's gonna build it. And I guess we'll see what the after looks like. I'm excited. Okay, you guys, Ronnie Kay did it once again. He did it. So I'm going to assemble it now, put like the cushions on it and stuff and figure out where I wanna put it on the deck. I don't know if you guys can hear there's construction going on, but um, I'm gonna kind of rearrange the deck here because it's a little bit. I was gonna fix it, so let me fix it. Okay, 
so now that I've rearranged it, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like so far. So I put the little French coffee set out on the end of the deck, which is originally where I had it, but usually when it rains, I try to like put it inside, so that's why it was in there. But since it's a nice day out, I decided to put it out there. And then here is the couch. I think it looks so cute. And now that I have the little coffee set, I have the couch, I'll probably put some like candles out here. Um, I'm gonna get a rug for sure, and I'm gonna probably get some plants and stuff too. But for now, I think this is like so perfect because I haven't been able to really sit outside much, um, obviously, because there was nothing to sit on. So now that there's a couch, it's so exciting. So this is what it looks like. It's from Wayfair, if any of you guys are wondering. The light's not really picking it up that well, but it's kind of like a light brown. It looks darker on camera, but it's a lighter brown with a cream cushion. Oh, there's Pips. This is the first time she's seen it. <gasps> Pips, what is it? <gasps> what is it? <gasps> what is this? Look, go inside. Go on top. Go on it. I think Pippa is going to be the one to like it the most because she loves hanging out on the deck and now she'll have something comfortable to sit on. You sit down. So yeah, of course, I'll want to probably put like a rug outside and I want to get some plants and stuff like that, but obviously the weather's getting a little bit colder now that it's fall, um, but I think it'll still be fun to make use out of the patio since there is obviously a cover. I'll be able to do like fall evenings here and even in the winter time, honestly, I feel like it'd be really cute to have some candles lit and have some blankets and be all cozy. So um, hopefully we get more use out of the patio now because I honestly haven't gotten that much use out of it um, because I've been so indecisive about patio furniture. So we have some now and we're getting the ball rolling on all of that good stuff. So, so yeah, I'll have the couch linked down below and the couch and little table set linked down below. You guys are interested. It was really affordable. That's why I got it because honestly, I didn't want to invest in patio furniture yet because I'm still at renting an apartment. So I didn't want to invest um, much into that. So super affordable and super cute. And it does the job. So that's comfortable. Pips, are you gonna come join me? Pips? No, she's not gonna join me. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm finishing off the vlog here on my phone because my vlog camera is dead but i just wanted to thank you guys for watching another vlog and um i'll see you guys in the next video